Righto Legends, welcome back to another episode. Got the big Y62 in the driveway today and we're going to start doing some 12 volt stuff. Decided to start in the afternoon, so I'll be doing it over a couple of days, but the Legends at Outbacks AU have sent over the Voltex 100 amp power Lithium Blade Pro and um, it is a slimline lithium battery, weighs about 15 kilos. I won't go through all the specs, but I'll put them down in the description. Also put the link for the website down in the uh, description. Um, it's really gonna work with my setup. Um, there is a perfect spot in the Y62s uh, where the jack is and where the tool it, uh, the tools go. Throw the jack in the bin because it's useless. Throw the tools out because they're also useless. And um, that's where my 12 volt setup's gonna live. And it's gonna be super neat, super slim line. You're not even gonna know it's there um, by the end of the install. So yeah, the little uh, slimline 100 amp hour battery is gonna be perfect for what we need. Um, we're just gonna be running a fridge. The 12 volt in the 62 is gonna be super simple. We're not going overboard like we did in the GU. We don't need ovens. We don't need all the, uh, we don't need inverters. We don't need um, anything like that. We just need to run a fridge 24 seven and that's what we are planning to do here. Um, so yeah, thanks Outbacks AU for hooking a brother up. One of the small guys, so it's uh. It's good to see uh, when brands get around one of the small guys, so cheers for that. I'll uh, have, a, have a beer for you. Um, so yeah, that's the battery we're gonna throw in. Um, I only run Red Arc in my cars, um, and that's everything, brake controllers, all that sort of stuff. So pairing it with a 1225D, um, didn't need a 40. We're not going for all that. Um, yes, 40 amps an hour would be awesome, but we just don't need it. Save a little bit of money on buying a 1225D. So that's what's gonna go in. That's what's gonna charge it. These have a built-in solar um, regulator as well. So you don't need heaps of, uh, heaps of units and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a pretty simple 12 volt install, but it's just gonna work. And that's all we're uh, doing with the Y62. There'll be a couple of more episodes um, on what we're doing for the, the car. It's not gonna be some crazy $300,000 chopped build, but what we are doing with the 62 is just getting it to be a good working tourer. Um, we don't need all that hectic stuff for what we're doing. So yeah, I've uh, drilled the holes, I've painted the holes, um, waiting for the paint to dry, then I'm gonna mount the battery. So I'll show you that, it's super, super simple. But um, yeah, let's get into it. So like I said, guys, um, in the back of the 62, there's this little compartment. Um, as you can see, battery sits in there, super, super flat. Um, the tools usually go here, the jack usually goes here, but it's all junk. Um, I'm gonna run other stuff in the caravan or put something under one of the uh, front seats. But as you can see, it just sits all nice and just stays super, super clean, super, super factory. Um, we're going to put our ando port and a sig port over here so i am going to probably chop into that which is going to um create severe anxiety for me um i'm also going to wire that um socket that's already in the back i'm going to wire that constant so yeah i'll have two sig sockets one anderson for the fridge so we can charge stuff and yeah but that's how uh, nice it sits so if you're after a setup like this, there's a couple of different brands out there, but these bloody Voltex legends at Outback say so you've hooked me up. So I'm going to roll the big hundy. So yeah, 1225D, it's going to sit here. Fuse box and other little shunts and stuff are going to sit around here. I'm going to utilize this bad boy here, if I can get it out. Going to run me um, solar through there. So solar's going to come down through the car. And it's going to sit here on top of um, this Anderson plug. So I'm going to have solar on top of that or maybe next to it, something like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to plug a uh, panel into that. Um, not going to run a fixed panel on it. Like I said, we're going to go and super chill with this 12 volt setup. But yeah, that's it. That might be me for tonight. Boom, back with day two. Um, last night, got a, got a fair bit done. Batteries mounted. Um, 1225Ds mounted, fuse boxes mounted, 
mounted a few little poles, um, ran the wiring for the solar, haven't bolted it up. I'll get some here, I saying that I'll, um, I use two gray Anderson plugs. I'm borrowing a mate's um, solar panel. I don't want to change his Anderson plugs, but I will be changing them. Uh, my, when my solar panel rocks up, I'll be changing the um, solar plugs to yellow ones. So you can't muck it up between um, plugging the, the solar in and plugging the caravan in. Um, I've had to duck to Repco, grab a couple of fuse holders, MIDI fuse holders, um, fuse everything. Yeah, do the right research. I mean, I got to trade in this sort of stuff, so um, you want to be putting the right fuse in the right spot, but I'm going to get to that. I'm going to do some wiring. So I've got to wire up the 1225D. We've got to wire up the battery, and we've got to run some wiring for the uh, accessory plugs that I want to run. Um, it's all pretty simple stuff, but yeah, I'm time-lapse most of it, but yeah get my little solder on and uh, get it done. Let's go. So as you see, and I'm bloody quick at it, look how quick that was. 30 seconds worth of time lapsing. Um, 1225D is uh, wired up, battery's good to go. Just gonna plug a couple of andos in. Um, now the painful part um, after a good coffee is um, I've got to strip the side of the car. That's where a good chassis earth is. Um, you want to use good earth, so that's what has to happen. So yeah, I'm going to um, run that chassis earth um, to the uh, main earth. You've seen that um, I've just got a um, negative post uh, like joiner there. Um, the, the Victron shunt that I want, um, I haven't been able to get, it's none in stock, so we'll have a smart shunt in it so we can see what the battery's doing when it's charging and stuff. For now it won't, um, so yeah, that's why I just did that. Um, but yeah, punch of coffee, whoop, spill it everywhere, and um, yeah, a couple more steps and we're on, so let's get it done. Right, so I've got the glasses on, I've gone on water. This is the shittest bit of this whole um, install, um, especially on a brand new car, if it was the GU you just send. Got to install that, so that is going to go here. So, anxiety is high for two reasons. Um, my wife will kick the shit out of me if I muck it up, and the second reason is my wife will kick the shit out of me if I muck it up. So, um, age old saying, measure once, cut twice, something like that. Um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use um, hole saws to do it, or step drills, sorry. Um, so yeah, just just taking time and um, yeah, try not to F it up, really. Um, apart from that, everything works. So 1225D is uh, kicking in and charging. Um, like I said, I haven't, um, I'm using my multimeter to check all that. I uh, don't have the um, smart shunt yet, but when that goes in, it'll be on the phone, so. If it goes in before this video drops, I'll show you. If not, forget about it. Um, but yeah. Oh man, I really hope I don't muck this up. Anyway, no time like the present, mate. Eh? Quick water, and we've been into it. That probably should be vodka, but anyway, let's go. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Oh, here we go. Can I get a moment of silence? Beautiful. That's hole number one for the and A. I've marked it up there best I can. Um, fingers crossed, wish me luck. No one wants some domestic violence. But I'm hoping that will just, ah, uh, uh, should be good. Should be right. Right, so that's our uh, end product. Bit of anxiety, but she's in. So now I can run the final bit of wiring from our uh, fuse board. 
all the way over to that. I'm gonna wire that constant as well from this lithium battery, so. And I'm going to vacuum, otherwise I'm going to get stabbed. You. So boom, there you have it. 12 volt system, pretty much you'll be permanently off grid. Um, 100 amp hours of lithium, you're laughing. You got 80 amp hours of lithium, you, you're bloody laughing. So that's it. The uh, I'm enjoying the life saver. How good are these ice creams? It's bloody 32 degrees today. Wouldn't recommend doing a uh, 12 volt system in this heat, but anyway. So yeah, it's fully done, 62 is up and running. So be a couple more episodes on the build that we're doing but we're about to head north soon so yeah we've got a bit of a trip coming up so at least now we can run the fridge off grid and um yeah enjoy those creature comforts so shout out to uh outbacks um au they're hooking us up with the volt x blade um i'll leave all that sort of stuff in the description ball terror on um ball terror of a battery on uh opening but um i'll let you guys know down the track obviously i haven't I've just fitted it, so there's no long time review here or anything like that. But um, I'll keep you updated on how it goes. So thanks for watching. I'm going to enjoy my ice cream. Put my fridge in the 62 and uh, head out camping. So see you on the next one.